What's up guys, Triple C here. Finally Rockstar released the XA21. Everybody's been waiting for this car. It's got to be one of the most anticipated cards in the game. And I'm going to do the stunt test with it, like I do with all the other new supercars. I'm going to test it on a variety of stunts, all types of generic stunts that you will encounter over and over in the game. And to help you determine whether it's worth buying in terms of stunning or not. Because this car does cost 2.3. 375 million I think it was plus all the upgrades you'll be almost up to 3 million and since ill-gotten gains there's not been one car released that can touch the t20 or the osiris in terms of stunning osiris and t20 up to date are still the best two cars for stunt racing so people had their hopes up that we might get a good car finally after two and a half years which can compete with those two and that's what we're going to do also i don't care what the results are going to be i'm just going to give you my objective um ob objective findings how it does on a variety of stunts so yeah without further ado let's jump right in it and get into it let's go so first test we're doing it on a regular container wall ride and for people who know this um, it's not gonna be surprised this car can wall ride obviously any car in the game can wall ride I also built a wall ride for the dump truck and I also built a wall ride for the tank for example that's not what we're gonna be looking at here we're gonna be looking at first off how will it react to the dummy proof will it bounce off the dummy proof or is it gonna be guided smoothly by it and then also how does it feel on the wall, um, like is it steady or is it very sensitive and how is our camera angle, are we going to lose our view or not because a lot of cars do lose their views. Okay, perfect with the dummy proof. Okay, it is a bit more sensitive than cars like the Entity for example, but it's my first time driving it, gotta get used to it. Very steady though, very steady. I'd say like from the first impression I just had, very, uh, a, a tiny bit more sensitive than steady cars like the entity for example it's not as reactive as the t20 for example it doesn't have any delayed steering like tempesta or cyrus which i personally hate but that's also a thing with wall riding you know you just gotta find your car that suits you and get used to it and then um and, like there is no best car for wall riding in that sense it's what you prefer the kind of steering you prefer also, we're doing this on old school races because with cunning stunts, they completely fucked up the wall riding. But, like, completely. There's no wall rider that likes wall riding in cunning stunts. In cutting stunts, it's kind of all the same. Just depends on what acceleration a car has and uh, what um, speed it has. Only the downforce cars, they handle different on uh, cunning stunts wall rides. So, yeah, but all in all, very pleasantly, uh, pleasantly surprised with the dummy proof. We're not losing our view, which is a very good thing. And it is very steady, very easy to control. So, definitely very nice. I will be trying this on tricky wall rides also, just to see how it, how it will do. Maybe some single line container wall rides and stuff. But, yeah, very, very, very nice um, um, result here. But next test, let's go. All right, next test, what we're going to be doing is steep ascending wall rides. And now what we're going to be looking for here, does it maintain its power going up there, which it will, because I already see it as a very powerful car. It has four-wheel drive, which is very important on ascending stunts. And are we going to lose our camera view? That's something that all the other cars do. They mess up their camera view going up there, and then you're going blind on the wall, and you don't see where you're going. Okay, this is on the edge, on the border, but no, it's, it's okay, it's okay. We, we kept our view, we kept maintained our power going up there, so very nice in total. Also, this car does have four-wheel drive, um, and just, I mean, just driving it up to the stunt there, it's unbelievable how it handles on the track. I mean, this, up to now, in terms of racing, uh, this looks like a really, really good car that's definitely worth buying. In terms of stunning, up to now, very positively surprised. We didn't lose our view, that's like the biggest issue, you always lose your view in all the other cars except for cars like T20s and Toronto Osiris and this one did very well so definitely a big big pass on this one very nice uh, let's go to the next stunt alright guys next test we got like an overhead wall ride to spiral to wall ride thing and this is also a test I use this test to see which cars maintain their camera view and which cars lose their camera view there are very few cars where you can actually see what your car is doing, like T20s and Toronto Cyrus again, you guys should know this by now. All the rear wheel drive, any rear wheel drive car loses its view here, you're blind in the overhead wall ride. Um, also very quick cars, like the X80 Proto for example, which is four wheel drive, 
but it's a very low car. You also lose your view, you don't see where you are. So let's see how this one's gonna do if we're gonna maintain our camera view. Yep, we are nice. So we can actually see where we're going. So yeah, up to now this looks very promising. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it's gonna crab slide and stuff like that, and especially how it flips because we already saw it is very good with the dummy proof. So yeah, definite pass on this one. Let's go to the next test. All right, next test, we got a King JMK loop. Um, go through a loop and connect to a building wall. Every car did this except for the X80 Proto, so no surprise that this one also did it here. Um, yeah, worked very nice like expected. Like I said, the only car that didn't do this was the X80 Proto. So let's go on to the next test. All right, guys, next test, we're going to do spirals. And this is similar to the wall ride test, basically. The car will get through there, but what I'm going to be testing here is going in it at a low speed and see if it still builds up that acceleration and that traction. So let's try it out from here, just in front of the spiral. Yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. It just grips to the spiral like it's nothing. Okay. And what I always do on the way down, because like all the rear wheel drive cars, they will not get up there. If you're that close, it, the, the, the rear wheel drive cars, they don't build up that acceleration going up there. Because you need for stuff like this, uh, any ascending stunt, you need four wheel drive. You need all wheels to help get the car up there to build up that energy, that power and also maintain it. So what I'm going to be doing and going down here, I'm going to yank the steering very hard once I'm upside down to see how easy it slides out. So I will fall off now because I will yank the steering, but just to see how easy it slides out. So let's try this. Oh. It didn't slide at all, it just took the turn. I mean, this is like, the best car for this is the Zentorno because you can just yank the steering. The thing will not spin out. It'll just take the turn and this one did exactly the same. So unbelievable what it just did there. It's probably very hard to see um, because like what I what I was trying now, I, I feel what I'm doing here and it was pretty hard to see what I just did there actually, but I just yanked the steering as hard as I could. Oh wait, I need a bit more speed. I just yanked the steering as hard as I could and the car didn't spin out. Like all the other cars go like in a 360 spin immediately. This one didn't, it just took the turn as I steered it. So unbelievable there actually. Um, this looks so promising up to now. I mean like this could be one of the best new supercars. Unbelievable what just happened there. Um, so big, big pass on this one. Um, even better than, like, no car ever touched the Zentorno on this test I did, especially with yanking the steering. This one just did. This is just, up to now, probably the best car in spirals if you have to make harsh corrections. If you're quick and you have to, you, you realize you're not on your line and you got to pull it over to the left or right, um, most cars will spin out. This one here, you just yank it as hard as you want, it will not spin out. So very, very nice. Okay, next test, the crab slide. Now there's three types of cars with the crab slides and there's the cars that roll over on the roof that's good because you can do like this uh, roll with it. There's cars that stay on their side like for example the Tempesta or the Adder or also the Zentorno for some time until it rolls over on its roof. And there's cars that go on the wheels and those cars are completely useless. You can't incorporate any type of stunt with, the, with, with those cars that do that. So let's see how this one's going to do. If it's going to go on its wheels, roll over on its roof or... Oh, it went on its wheels. No. No, 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 no. Okay, this, uh, this didn't look good, man. It went... But I mean, you could probably tip it over if you build your wall ride in a way like that. But that was actually... Ah, shit, 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 shit. We can try it. I will try it on another crab slide race, which is specifically built for tipping it over on its roof. But up to now, what happened right there, that was actually a fail. It went on its wheels, which is like the worst possible thing that can happen. Then you cannot incorporate this type of stunt with this car. Uh, okay, um, let's try it on another one. Okay, so next up, what we're gonna, I'm gonna try it out with the crab slide again because this is like a race I started building this two months ago and I never continued building it. It's like literally just the first draft. It was for the Osiris, so also we gotta watch out now. This is fine tuned for the Osiris. The flip works perfectly in the Osiris. And this car here, mm, let's see. Um, because 
flips are always built specifically for one car. Every car will react different to it according to the speed it has, it goes in there and all that. But let's try it out anyways just to get a general feel how it flips. Oh, it flips very consistent. It did overflip a bit. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, here the crab side worked. But I gotta, I gotta um, make a disclaimer here. This is not like just the wall and then you go on the slide. I actually have an invisible cabin there that makes you tip over. So what we just saw in the other race we did before, um, if you just have a wall going to a slide, it will tip over on its wheels. If you make it tip over purposely, um, you might even be able to see it if I go in here this time. If you make it tip over, then it should work. Wait, let's see. And now you can't really see it. Okay, so yeah, um, it will do it if you force it, basically. I um, hope you guys are understanding what I'm explaining here. So the car is just tipping over because there's an invisible prop which makes it tip over. Um, in regards to the flip, it flips very nice and consistent. Actually, this could be like, for example, the T20 is such a nice car for flips, but it sucks on dummy proof. This one's actually great on dummy proof. It did go up a tiny bit, it overflips a bit here because obviously it's built for the Osiris and this one seems to be a bit quicker than the Osiris. But I think I got a very, very harsh suspicion here that we'll see some awesome flip races with this one, man. This one looks very well suited for this. So yeah, um, on the regular crab slide, unfortunately f a fail. If you force it with like an, a flip piece, like a tilted container, which makes it wait, maybe you can even see it from here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, you, if you look up there behind the containers, you can actually see the cabin there. You see that? The gray part, that cabin, it's like tilted in there. So it makes your car flip over. So yeah, if you force it, then definitely possible. On its own, it will not do it. Alright guys, so this is like a small extra, it's not really part of the test because this is like an automatic stunt and it's built for the Osiris, so there's a very good chance it will not work, but it does have like very short, quick flips, which often work in several cars then, but we just want to get a general feeling how it does with the dummy proof, how it's guided, and let's just see how it does. Built for Osiris here, so no guarantee that it'll work. Oh, clean, clean, clean. Yeah, like this flip was a bit crooked because it's obviously not built for this car. Yeah, but we did get through. Okay, I bounced against that pretty hard there. But yeah, um, just judging from this, don't judge it on how it did on this stunt because this is built and fine-tuned for the Osiris. But just looking at it, also how it flipped on the on-ramp there, um, there's definitely a lot of great stuff we're going to see with this car, man. I can't wait for all the creators to start building uh, stunt races for this very very promising we'll see some awesome stuff for this card okay so this is like a small extra it's not really part of the test i just want to see how it does like on a bit more difficult wall ride because in the beginning we just had the container wall oh, man, it's just steady with the steering it's a bit more sensitive so yeah it's a bit more it's a bit of getting used to if you're used to cars like me like entity osiris uh, entity <laughs> But anyways, um, really nice on walls also, definitely a lot of potential here. If you get used to it, very steady and very, um, very consistent on the wall. All right, final test, Freaky Leaks, huge loop racing number three. This is always the ultimate test. It's a make or break situation. There's very few supercars in this game that can make this loop and not fall off it. Um, of course, the top um, cars for standing, uh, Cyrus, T20s, and Torno, they all make it with ease. And then from all the new cars we got, um, actually the X80 made it. It's very powerful on stunts like that. Um, the Tempesta also made it, and big surprise, also the Penetrator also did this loop. No other supercar made this loop, not even the Nero Custom did it, because it does also have four-wheel drive. And I keep on stressing this, four-wheel drive is so important on stunt races. You want to have a four-wheel drive car, not like racing cars like the RE7B and stuff, uh, which only have rear-wheel drive. Th those are good cars on the track for GP racing, but once you're going awesome cunning stunt races, if you're going up tubes and stuff, you do want to have a car that has all-wheel drive, where the front wheels also help get the car up there. Uh, wait, let's see... No, don't go on the pole, come on. <laughs> went right in the pole. Um, 
So yeah, and just judging from what we saw here before with this car, um, I predict that it's going to make it because it was incredibly quick on the wall rides also. On the ascending wall ride, it didn't lose any speed. You just saw that it basically maintains that power and even builds up that power. Also in the spiral, going up the spiral, even though we went in there with no speed at all, it still accelerated on the spiral. So I do predict that this one is going to make it. I hope I didn't jinx it now, but we're going to see in a second. We're almost coming up to the stunt. And like... What I said with the X80, I want to quickly say a word to that. Like, for example, if you look at Rockstar races, a lot of the Rockstar races, the X80 will do best because it's just quickest on the uphill slopes. It's just unbelievable if you have tracks that have a lot of uphill sections, like the advantage the X80 will build up there over time. But in terms of stunt racing, like what we stunt race creators do, we don't just build these, we don't just snap tubes and stunt roads together, but we build like flips and stuff. And they're always dummy proof is a very important factor. How is the car guided by the guidance props? Like pedestrian. Um, how is the car guided by the guidance props? Um, would it flip correctly? And that's, for example, what a car like the X80 can't do. Okay, wait, on this one, I gotta go from the respawn because that's what we did. I think this was the respawn, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna respawn here. That's what we did with all the other cars to see if they can do it from the respawn. All right, make or break, XA21 through the huge loop. Okay, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Yeah, we got it. Easy. Easy. So yeah, this is like only the seventh supercar in total that did this stunt here. Like, no other supercar can do this. This one did it with ease. And yeah, I think we got ourselves a new top car for stunt racing here. Um, it's been such a long time. So like, I mean, since Ilgarten Gains, there's actually only two cars that were even worth mentioning. And I won't finish yet. That were even worth mentioning. And there was the Nero and the Tempesta. Like all the cunning stunts shit we got. That is not made for stunt racing. You know, that's just like those were all. A lot of them were good cars on the track, but not for real stunt racers. And I think here we got ourselves a car. Can I get through here? No, I can't. Here we really got ourselves a car which has got enormous potential. It just did perfectly on every test, like literally perfectly, except for the crab slides. And I mean, that's the thing again, if we would work with a point system now and say, we're judging it on every stunt, then yes, then I have to say Osiris T20 Zentorno, they passed every single test that I'm doing here. The XA21 didn't pass the crab slide, but I'd say as long as you're not incorporating crab slides, um, this might even be better than the Cyrus T20 Zentorano. We'll have to see what kind of races are gonna be built with it, how it really flips in the end, how consistent it is. But I mean, on the track, it's a fucking beast. It's unbelievable. Um, like with all the other stunts, it's just nothing negative I can say about this car. And even if that's your criteria that you say you wanted to uh, pass every single test, then if you would build a crab slide, you can still do it with a flip container like I did in that small test we did where I manually flipped the car over. So yeah, this one definitely worth buying. Um, I said this in other stunt tests too, like the, the creator community has been waiting for that new supercar, that new asset basically, which will enable us to take this all to the next level again. And I think we might have that car here right now. So um, if you're wondering whether you should buy it or should not buy it, yes, definitely buy this one. It's definitely worth it. And I'm sure we'll see some really great stuff with this and it might be sort of a game changer that you won't see Osiris only in every stunt race that's being built, or T20 only. Uh, I think a lot of races will be republished now. People will update their descriptions. They'll add the XA21 to the, to the um, description, say that you can also take this car. So beautiful, beautiful car. It feels really nice driving it. It'll probably also do very good, like in the lab testing that uh, people like Brophy do, for example. If you watch a video where anybody's uh, driving it down the runway on the airport, click away from those videos immediately. These guys have no clue what they're testing. Check out people like, like Brophy for example other expert GP drivers to give like 
and, and like to give you information on cars like these because these people know what they're talking about. So yeah, I'm really happy with this car. We're gonna see some great stuff with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, happy stunning everybody. We got ourselves a new top supercar which is up with the top three cars in terms of stunt racing. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm out. Peace.